in our everyday world, we use a lot of plastic products, like plastic cups, screens for our cell phones, packaging for food products, electronic devices like televisions, computers, and even interiors of cars. Maybe you have never thought about the idea that a simple product as this can cause a lot of trouble. For example, when you go to a festival, you will drink a beer from a plastic cup. You only use this cup for several minutes, and after this the cup will be disposed. It's a strange fact that we make very strong products we only use for a very short period of time. And these products will cause environmental pollution for decades and even centuries. Even worse, a lot of waste will be dumped in the ocean. The places where big ocean streams will come together, big islands of plastics can be found, which we call the plastic soup. This will not only cause damage to the environment, but also directly to the sea life itself. We can overcome this problem by clever thinking. Could we produce products, which we only use for several minutes, that will be decomposed in a short period of time? A biopolymers could be the answer. Take these two soda bottles. Do you notice any difference? Maybe not. But one of those bottles is partially composed from bio-based materials. The plastic itself is the same for both bottles, only the raw materials are different. Actually, you can say that this bottle is a plant. But is this a real solution for the plastic soup problem? So what we see is that this product is CO2 neutral, and that's a good starting point. But it's still not biodegradable, so maybe we cause more and more pollution. We also need to consider the importance of recycling. Have you ever realized that loads of polycarbonates are used in CDs and DVDs? There are so many CDs and DVDs in the wo whole world that if you put them together, they would reach the moon. So maybe we should consider bio-based products. Those can be more easily recycled, or if possible, consider biodegradable products. Smart thinking, we said. We can use waste materials from plants, for example a tomato plant for the production of bio-based building blocks. Can we produce a bioplastic for the non-food parts of this tomato plant? First we can shredder the stem and the leaves off to a slurry. We can convert the cellulose from the slurry into glucose or convert the sugars directly into lactic acid. Followed by the synthesis of the bioplastic itself, known as polylactic acid, which we can use for the production of a bio-based plastic foil for packaging the tomatoes itself. This process is more complex than we have just visualized. Is it possible to produce a package from a tomato plant that you can use for the packaging of the tomato itself? In the final video, I will present my personal view on this case to you. By then, I hope you all have thought about your own solution to this challenge. Welcome to the world of biopolymers.